Hey guys, it's your friend Lester. Um, well, I mean, some of your friends. Um, I, I don't know a lot of you, actually. Um, so today, uh, it's kind of a special occasion. We're going to be drawing the um, Apple iTunes logo. Um, and I'm going to be doing it with my brand new uh, Windows 8 computer. Okay, so um, the first thing to do is to get the logo. So you press the Start button. And you type iTunes, and there it is. So, yeah, I, I, iTunes is probably one of the best programs. Um, a lot of the times, Apple's actually kind of behind Windows. Um, like in the last uh, couple of months, they just only just came out with um, their own version of Windows 7. Um, called um, iPhone 7, but um, here I am on Windows 8, so who's laughing? That's what I say. Um, and this this takes a while every time you start up, so you should do what I do, make yourself some dinner. I've got some onion-flavored couscous here. Um, it's pretty good. The onions didn't actually come in the box. I, I um, made my own and just put them on in. I don't really remember the brand name or anything, but it's some pretty good couscous, so if you see it in the store, you should get some. Windows 8 comes with like a lot of neat games, like you can... I don't know. Um, you click on like this shopping bag thing, and you can be like, um... Game. And then... It comes up with all kinds of games. And then you go back to desktop, and it configures iTunes still. So, yeah. Um, I might actually hit this. Okay. Um, I will ignore. That's the best thing to do, usually, because that happens a lot, and you just sort of have to brush it off. Like, that's, that's what they mean by... Um, the cloud, like, it just kind of goes around by. Okay, well, it's not working, so we, you know, go here again. Do that again. Ah, this is too much work. I'm just gonna make my own iTunes logo. Um, yeah, here we go. You know, you can get Obama search. Um, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, you open this up. It's not going to load. Let's do a different one. Okay, so you click on that. Perfect. And now this is a new feature on Windows 7. You can drag it over and put it on that side of the screen. And meanwhile, we open up uh, Paint, which will not stick to the side of the screen. Here, oh, no, that is too big. Okay, well, now it's covering that. That's just fantastic. I'm, I'm sorry, I had kind of a bad day. Okay, so. Um, take out your pencil tool. You want to make a nice broad line here for the first um, nodule, that's what they call those things in music notes. And you can see in the picture it's kind of glistening here. We don't really have to worry about that since this is a free program. It goes up like this, um, slanty like that, and down like that. And that is known as a crescendo. And you do it over here bring it across. Now you might be noticing that I've been doing a lot of music themed things for my last few drawings and um, that, and it's true but it's not because like I like it better than drawing or anything like there's nothing better than drawing I think. Um, and with today's with one of today's top artists like uh, Kesha um, anything happens. So you go back to your tools menu and they actually downgrade those from previous versions. Um, you don't have like the airbrush and stuff. You just oh here we go. Yeah, no, you do. That's that's my mistake. So you go for a light green here for the speckle as that part of the music note. And you want to kind of reflect some light there. Uh, I should probably increase the size. And you can even make your own colors, which is kind of cool. Like you know, if you want that in there, you can just sort of drag it over. Um, 
And yeah, that'll be the exact same shade as the iTunes logo. So you fill up that in the cell there, um, give another nice shine all across each section of it. And this version of iTunes includes a free CD, so um, there, there's a circle tool in this version of um, paint that I'm using. So you make it size, and there. And then like for the inner rim of the CD, you switch to black, or no, just darker gray, excuse me. And, okay, I can't draw there. Uh, you just do like that or something. And then for the innermost string, you switch to, no, I don't want that one. Whatever, good enough. For the innermost ring, you switch to the tiniest one and make it white because it is reflective. It, like, white's not actually a color. It's like what happens when you have all of the colors combined and it makes their own thing. Okay, now for the text, you go to this A icon, stands for add text, and. Um, okay, um, looks like we have a lot of different fonts here. Uh. Let's go for Joker Man. Um, make it big. Maybe size like 36 or something. Make sure it's italic and underlined. Let's go for a nice eye-catching gray. That's sort of um, the uh, Apple iTunes philosophy. And you say iTunes. And make sure it's really big so people can see it, like maybe 72. Um, you know, make sure it's bold and all that. Okay. So perfect. And now, um, if you want to play it, uh, well, it turns out iTunes doesn't work, so we uh, go to a different music player, we go up here, and um, yeah, so we look for a play button. Okay, you're right here, here's a play button. So you click it, and then the magic happens. Alright, well thank you very much for watching, um, I hope this has been informative, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to um, send it to uh, Jeff Balmer, the captain of Apple, and um, let him know how much you liked it, and maybe it'll get passed around, you know, it's, it's kind of like karma.